Hi guys, welcome back! Today we are going to do a random character design actually. Um, it's currently Friday, which is the day this video was supposed to go up, but I uh, have been sick and traveling and prioritizing other things, so I don't have a video yet. So this video is probably up on Saturday if I'm guessing correctly, so I don't have to stay up all night to do a video. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, we're gonna do a random character design because I think it's really fun and also because I know I wanna do a random character design that is involving a mermaid because as some of you guys know, it is mermaid at the moment and I tried participating for a little bit but I couldn't keep it up and I thought I would kind of finish mermaid with the bang and do a character design <laughs> and just design a mermaid and see what I can do. And, and I'm also gonna do it and differently where I'm not going to use watercolors but I am going to do the lines traditionally so it's going to be mixed media both digital and traditional so that's going to be fun and um, kind of like what I did with the character design for Eva because that was quite fun so I thought I would do it again and yeah let's just get started I gotta get my face off this camera because <laughs> it's my face um I'm almost very tired at the moment so I guess I have to go get myself some tea and I'll find a random something generator for names or words or something and I'll get some random stuff and hopefully I can get something started at least one of the prompt words is going to be a mermaid so <laughs> we'll see what happens let's go Okay guys, so I have found a generator that has a mer person <laughs> in it. I have this is a mer person generator, so we'll actually get a mermaid that is we are designing. So I might use all of what's in the description, but I might not use all of it. We'll see what comes out. <laughs> what happens? Okay, so uh we just have to click this and see what happens. Do um, this South Atlantic mermaid has an indigo tail, blue eyes, and a pale complexion. Wavy bright blue hair, worn mid-length. She's very short and quite muscular. That's cool. Um, she wears a golden headpiece and a shell necklace. She's easily confused and it's not very neat. <laughs> like everything up to the last sentence. I was like, oh, she looks like, like an elven kind of mermaid. But the last bit is just like, she's easily confused and not very neat. Um, all right, <laughs> that's quite cool. I like that. Um, if you have seen my mermaids before, they don't really look like normal mermaids, so I'm probably gonna pull a lot of the blue into her complexion. Um, wavy bright blue hair. Hmm, this could be quite nice, especially with the blue and the gold headpiece. Shell necklace. I feel like her necklace should be like a compass or something because she's easily confused, anyway. Let's get sketching. Hello you guys, welcome back to another voiceover. I will be talking a little bit about what my design ideas was for this character because I actually forgot to talk about it while I was filming. Usually I go over my sketches before I actually start on line art or the actual <laughs> sketch. But I forgot this time, I was quite tired. Uh, I think you could see that in my face in the beginning. And I just wanted to do something uh, just do it. <laughs> so what I figured out when I started sketching was that it would be really really cool since this is a kind of blue indigo mermaid to make her a manta ray mermaid. I said this multiple times in the video as well, I am not a person who draws normal mermaids uh, with beautiful long hair and like shells on their breasts and I don't like that stuff. I like it when they're a little bit weird. Uh, and I especially like the idea of mermaids from different species of fish. Um, so I've done an axolotl, I've done a salmon, I've done some other species here and there. And this time I did a manta ray because I love manta rays. Uh, I've seen them multiple times while diving and I think they're really, really cool. Uh, and I thought they would fit very good just with the, the shortness of her. She's supposed to be quite short. Um, she's not that muscular as the brief gave me, but she is. Um, she has some muscle in her arms. She's not like super weak or anything. It's a mermaid. It's not gonna be normal. Like it's not a human. Yeah. 
So for the liner, as I said, I wanted to do this traditionally uh, with my trusted ballpoint pen that costs one pound. Uh, it's really, really cheap and I quite love it, even though it keeps spelling ink uh, at some points and making blotches, which is very annoying. But I just keep another piece of paper close to me so I can just rub on it and make sure all excess ink is gone from the pen before I start a line. Um, I also love how I can get quite thin lines and quite thick lines with it. I usually go over my lines sometimes um, in certain places just to thicken things up and clean it up a little bit more. Um, I tend to be quite messy and I try to clean them up a little bit. And also keep my lines quite thin where the most light will hit, I think. Um, if I want to give you guys some tips about line art. And where the shadow will be, I usually do a bit more thicker line. Um, it's a quite a nice way to do line away and making sure that line art looks cool after you've done the lines. So after I was finished with the lines, I decided to make everything just pen and paper and my iPad because a lot of people are buying iPads at the moment and I thought I would try skipping where I usually scan the drawings with my scanner and just take a picture instead. Um, the iPad have a pretty decent camera, um, of course there's some kind of gradient going from top to bottom, from lighter to darker, but I actually just embraced it and just use it for my drawing. I love when people just take pictures of their sketchbook and then color it and procreate, that is something I want to do. Uh, unfortunately this was not in my sketchbook so it didn't look that cool. <laughs> uh, I left it just as it was. Um, but I'm definitely going to do more appropriate videos just because I am still a digital artist even though I've been doing a lot of watercolors and um, so I will be switching between watercolors and um, kind of a mix between traditional and digital art. Also you guys have uh, been asking me a lot about what program I use and my brushes. I actually have my brushes up for download, free download if you want. You can also donate a little bit if you want to. <laughs> it always helps um, because I will be going freelance so any very little helps. And you can get those and I'll link them down in the description. I have kind of tweaked them myself so I know what I like working with. Um, it also is Procreate, it's the first iPad Pro, it's not the second one, it's not the cheap one that's come out on the market, though I really want to try the cheap one. <laughs> Um, I've also decided to change the camera angle a little bit because I've been bored with the, just a the top-down view. I quite like the angled view, it just looks more... it just looks nicer. Um, so I left that in there for you guys, I hope you don't mind. Um, it usually looks better when I'm working on my iPad anyway to have a bit of an angle because then you can see more what's happening on the screen. But talking about the character design, um, you can see me here actually putting in quite a lot of yellow. Um, I wanted her kind of coral crown to be yellow and gold. And then I actually added some few fish flying around her head. I think of them as, you know, when you have a manta ray and there's like fish cleaning their mouth I th or underneath their bellies. I think that's something that happens. And I thought that would be quite cool to just have some a golden fish uh, flying around her head, um, just like a real manta ray, I guess. I actually did a few more changes after recording Stop, my uh, camera ran out of battery and I needed to finish this video. So the last bit is actually just Procreate recording and it's just really really quick, just showing you what I've done uh, in the last few minutes uh, that I didn't get to record. And I just basically also added a white shaped heart thing on her back of her wings, I guess you could say, or tail. Uh, just to fill out that space because it was so empty that it needed some kind of extra thing. I also added shading at the end. Just a little design note before the video ends. Um, the things around her face is supposed to be hair, ears, tentacles, I don't know. Um, but I was inspired by the manta ray's mouth flaps. And I thought it would be really cool to have that uh, in her face. And also I removed the other one because um, I thought it looked better with just two. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. To be honest, I feel like it was a bit rushed and I feel like I could have done more expressions and some more um, character sheet-ish stuff, but I didn't because I don't have time right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. By the way guys, it's now 19k of you. I don't know how to react. I don't know. 
what to do it's a lot of pressure and i'm really happy you guys are all here and want to see more drawings from me and i'll do my best and i'll give you better content later <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this really really weird mermaid i never really do normal mermaids so i hope you enjoyed that different theme thing from what you usually see in mermaids so that's about it i will see you guys next week Bye-bye.